What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. I feel like I'm always saying that, but today's video is, yeah. Christian's talking about his crackers in the background, but today's video is another day in the life vlog. Arlo's napping right now. Christian just woke up from a nap, so we're gonna make some food. And then we have a little behind the scenes of a little photo shoot that we have Christian starring in today. So I thought that would be fun to show you guys. And then when I asked you guys on Instagram recently what kind of things you wanted to see from us when we vlog, I actually got a lot of you who were interested in seeing us like organize our playroom and how the playroom's set up. And Lord knows it needs to be picked up. So we're gonna do a playroom pickup after lunch and I'll show you guys what that room is looking like so far. And then just bring you along with me over the rest of today, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. We'll see how crazy we'll, we get, you know? See where the world takes us. But first up, I have to give a shout out to our sponsor for today's video. So you guys know I love working with HelloFresh. Thank you to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I am about to make some lunch with them. Like I said, we're in the kitchen ready to go. I love HelloFresh because it is a super easy, convenient meal delivery service. It's a subscription-based service where you can pick your meals, you can cater it totally based on your own lifestyle. So for me, I'm able to pick all vegetarian meals. And then because we're customizing and building the meals ourselves at home, I'm actually able to make them like dairy-free and make them however I need to just for my diet as well. We get the size that is perfect for a family of four. So it works really well because as we're divvying things up, I'm able to make my portions specific to my diet and then make different portions specific to Christian and Jordan. Um, on top of that, I've been talking to you guys about how I've been trying to go, you know, be more aware of like how much waste I'm creating. I feel like since we've been at home in quarantine, I've just become so aware of the trash we're producing, the waste we're making as a family. Uh, I mean, we are just like making bags and bags of trash every week it feels like and so one thing I love about HelloFresh is that it's a much more sustainable option because it gives you pre-packaged like specific serving sizes of all the ingredients you're not over buying you're not over stocking on things you're not going to have as much produce go bad so I love that we truly get use out of all of the food and then the majority of almost all of their packaging that it comes in is completely recyclable as well so I love that that the box it comes in the padding everything can just be recycled too. Fun fact, HelloFresh's carbon footprint is actually 25% less than grocery store bought meals. Isn't that crazy? So I just love that. Um, you guys know I love HelloFresh. They're a great company to work with and truly enjoy all the food. They've pushed me outside of my comfort zone with meal prepping at home. You guys know I'm not naturally a cook, but I'm like experimenting in that way. So I'll show you the different cards I have that I got in my box. This month I have have this yummy gorgeous greens farro bowl. This has roasted zucchini and asparagus in it. This looks so good. So I'm trying to decide between either that for today. The last farro bowl that I got from them, I really, really loved. Um, this is a barbecue pineapple flatbread that we actually made last night. You guys know we're a big pizza family. And so we made these last night and they turned out so good. I just did mine without the cheese. And even with the vegetables and the barbecue sauce and everything, it was really tasty. And then the third option is a bruschetta zucchini boats. I'm kind of leaning towards this for today just because I feel like this is something fun and different that I wouldn't normally cook myself. So I just talked myself into it. I'm gonna do the zucchini boats for lunch today. You can use my code OliviaZappo80 to get $80 off your first box of HelloFresh, including free shipping. I'll also have a link down in the description box as well as the code. Thank you again to HelloFresh for working with me on this video. And now let's make some lunch and then jump into the rest of the day. They even include like little mini sauces like this too. How adorable are these? So you really have everything you need right here. All right, you ready? You gotta use both hands. Well, they're really good. Use both hands and then you're gonna pour it in there. You ready? Be really careful. Good job. Good. Yay, Christian. Woo. Yay. Isn't that cool? Pour this in there. Whoa. Whoa, huh? Whoa. Whoa. Okay, pinch of this. And now a little bit of salt. Whoa. Whoa. 
Then here, look, now I'll hold it and I'll let you stir. I'll pull it. Yeah, I'll let you stir it. You ready? No. You excited? I'm excited. excited. <laughs> I'm excited. Good, Good job. job <laughs> so you're gonna grab a little go like this. You're gonna grab a little bit of cheese like this. And you're gonna sprinkle it on. Sound good? Blue. Grab a lip. Here, I'll hold it. Grab a little bit of cheese. Yeah. Good job, Bubba. Very good. I'll dump it. And I'll I'll pick Is it up. Same diaper. Good job. Put it on this one over here. Good job. All right, here's our meal. Turned out pretty good. You ready? Are you hungry? Okay, let me get you a plate. I realize I'm kind of playing the fire with these tomatoes. Oh yeah. We're about to put Christian in his very own little photo shoot by us. But so I often at our old place, I would get asked about this mat that I had in our living room. And it was this one, this white and like printed one. You can see it's got a really pretty print to it. So the company is called Yay Mats and they make these play mats and it's actually my friend's company. She's also the one that does our family photos and things like that. And so we have had their mats forever. We actually already had a smaller one right in front of Oh, Kelly. I did it. Yeah, you told us, thank you, the dog got his dinosaur toy. But we already had a small one in front of this couch and she asked if Christian would be willing to star in a photo shoot for a giveaway she's doing. So um, we're setting up this toy and added a little bit more mats to the space we already have at home and we're gonna take some pictures. He's already climbing and ready to go. Like this thing is not even set up clearly and he is just, he's got his dinosaur to toy. He is like living it up, up there. What do you think, Christian? Nay. Oh, nay. Two dinosaurs go nay. Christian, what sounds do dinosaurs make? They first. <laughs> All right, buddy. So now it's time to do a little playroom cleanup. <laughs> so this is what it like always looks like. Messy as you know what. Your trash truck is in the other room, Bubba. You gotta go out and get it. So we're gonna get organized a little bit. Alright, it's 
it's a little better in here at least. It's playable. It's playable. I feel like I need to document this before he ruins it again. He's already in the process. I gave him that a second ago and he was so excited. Ooh. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> Christian already got down the trucks that I had on his bookshelf. What is that, bud? A garbage truck. Oh, look close. So sometime soon I want to do like a whole playroom tour once I have the time to actually get this room as organized as I would like it. Because on, on a good day I can get it like actually organized and get the decor all like, oh wow. But on a good day I can get it all organized and get the decor like making sense a little bit but for the most part it looks the way it looked when i first walked into this room with you guys so this is actually a huge improvement just having the floor clean enough for this this is what mama likes to see i'm thinking eventually i'll do like get this room good to go do a playroom tour and then maybe like a home office tour and that's probably it. And then after that, I'll do a tour of the entire place. Cause I've had people ask if we're gonna do like an updated home tour now that it's furnished, since I did an empty home tour when we moved in. And I definitely will, I'm gonna do like a furnished home tour, but we're just still kind of putting the finishing touches on everything. But since we've been in quarantine and since I've been on maternity leave and at home and everything, I've been able to do a little bit more of that. So been adding little things here and there and a full home tour will be coming but i'm thinking first i'll do playroom and then maybe home office i don't know and this is why i wanted to show an overall view as soon as i could because oh no. this happens immediately it's so destructive christian Oh, and see, this is the same mat. The same mat I was talking about earlier. So this is the floor of our playroom, but this used to be in our living room mine, at the old house. Mine, 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 mine. What do you mine, say, Bubba? Mine. Hey, Bub. Mine. mine. Hey, Christian. Peace. Okay. Here you go. One. What do you say? Peace. Here you go. One. Here you go. What do you say? Um, Peace. Here you go. Then what do you say? Peace. Say, say thank, you. thank you. But yeah, this is the same math that we just showed the pictures on, but this used to be in the living room at our old place and now it's the perfect like playroom map. I love it. And whenever it's time to clean it, I just use like some all-purpose spray cleaner and just wipe it down. This one actually is probably due for a clean. What are you doing, bud? I'm washing. Oh, you're washing your hands, yeah. Oh, good job. Yeah, we're going, going to, the to the park. We're going to the park. We're on our evening walk, trying to wear out Christian before it's bedtime. This is basically impossible, but we're gonna try. Get in. <laughs> Hello. Woo -woo. We brought all these snacks to the park in these cute little reusable bags, and now Jordan and I have just been sitting here eating all of Christian's snacks. Hello. Hello. Christian has not eaten any of them. It's all yeah, us. took a handful of blueberries. Look at Arlo. Christian! Do you need cash now? Whoa! <laughs> Whoa. All right, so it's the next day and I wanted to just give a little sign off for this vlog. I'm currently sitting in my bedroom on the floor surrounded by so much stuff for this Target haul that I'm about to film. So by the time you guys are seeing this, that is already up, so I'll put it up here if you wanna check it out. But um, before I sign off, I just wanted to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for the support that you've given me over the last few weeks. 
just have like a nursing bra here in the corner of the frame. I feel like coming off of last week, I feel like it was just like a heavy week. I know Jordan and I did not have our best week. It was like a tough week at home, a tough week with the kids. We were like being more catty with each other than we normally are. And um, I saw, it just seemed like I kept seeing everybody on social media, so many people being like, you know, talking about how upset they were over just life, like things happening being in a funk we've all been in quarantine for a few months now and it's being extended in a lot of our areas ourselves included and just like dealing with life changes and there's i just feel like there's so much going on and my heart is so heavy for all of it so i just wanted to say thank you guys for everything thank you for your support thank you for always like all of your kind messages and the kind comments you guys leave it really means so much to me and i just wanted to send a little bit of encouragement and support your way as well if you need it right now i know so many of you are going through tough things right now too um and so many of you have been so so supportive and kind as i sort of make this transition into content creating full time um and it's been really fun over the last few weeks and i feel like i've gotten to connect so much with you guys and i'm super anxious and like a stress case because i actually go back to work next week which is i know a lot of you guys are probably like wait i thought you lost your job I did lose my job, um, but I lost it with an end date a couple months from now. So I actually return from maternity leave next week to a job I know I'm losing and I'm only going to do it for two months and then I'm done. Um, and I'm super stressed about it because I don't know what the dynamic is going to look like in our house. I feel like I'm already struggling with Jordan's job and both kids and our own business ventures on the side and it's just a lot and so you know i'm gonna see how it goes i don't want to be foolish or selfish and turn down a paycheck and so i really want to like fulfill my commitment there over the next couple months and then um you know end of september is when it's official for me so or october 1st is when it's official for me in the meantime i want you guys to know like my presence here and my presence on social media is not going away um so i will be back at work temporarily but i have so enjoyed like putting out three videos a week i've so enjoyed hearing from you guys i'm so glad that you notice it and that you're liking the extra content so my plan is not to scale that back it's just to balance it all for a couple months and um I'm super excited about what's to come. I have some really fun projects in the works that I cannot wait to share with you guys. Like just kind of putting the finishing touches on it and then I'll be announcing that in a couple weeks. But some really exciting stuff coming and I just, I feel so hopeful for the future even though I feel super stressed for the present. And I just want you guys to know that if you're going through the same thing, you're not alone. You can probably see I'm getting tears in my eyes, but you're not alone. We are all going through some sort of funk right now and I just want to assure you that it's gonna be okay. Good things are to come, I know it. We're just in the thick of it right now. And so if you're going through the thick of it, hang in there. Um, again, thank you guys so much for being this like supportive community that has been so, so gracious to me but also i hope that you're getting some out of it too and i'm hearing from you guys that you are so i just want you to know like this friendship means so much to me um and i hope you have an amazing rest of your week i hope that the next couple days are easy on you and then we're back in the weekend again and if you ever need a little bit of a bright spot or pick me up find me on instagram i feel like i'm always trying to share um you know inspiring and humorous things when I can on there too. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll stop rambling, but just wanted to end on that note. Um, you guys mean the world to me and I will see you in my next video. Bye.